Yo, 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 what is up, y'all? It's Cone back here again today with another video. I literally just woke up to this trade. Let's go ahead and break it down. CJ McCollum traded to the New Orleans Pelicans. This is something that a lot of people have been waiting for for a very long time. It's always been thought that CJ McCollum was the piece that the Blazers would have to trade to ultimately reshape and fix this Portland roster. That's kind of been a mess for a little bit now. And so he has finally been traded. But the package that they traded him for really doesn't signal a kind of reshaping of the roster. It seems to signal a rebuild, but then there's rumors that the Blazers don't want to rebuild. We'll get into all that in a second. Let's break down the full trade package, starting with the Pelican side of things. The Pelicans are getting CJ McCollum, Larry Nance Jr., and Tony Snell for Josh Hart, Tomas Sadoransky, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, Didi Lizauda, a 2022 protected first round pick, which means that if the pick lands between 5 and 14, the Blazers get it this year, otherwise it goes to the future, and two second round picks. So starting with the Pelicans side of things, CJ McCollum, that's a huge pickup for this Pelicans team. They're a team that has been trying to kind of, you know, transition into a competing era rather than a rebuilding era that they've been in for the last few seasons since trading Anthony Davis. And this is a big piece that can help them kind of move that direction. Something that this team desperately lacks is someone that can kind of create his own shot consistently. And that is exactly what CJ McCollum is going to do for them. He gives them more talent and also this gives them more depth overall, bringing in a role player like Larry Nance Jr. That's really solid. Tony Snell is a solid shooter. I know he's not been great this year in Portland, but he is someone that is a consistent shooter that kind of gives them another piece around Zion Williamson, which is really who they're building this whole roster for. This brings in a couple more shooters, a solid defender alongside Zion, and ultimately when Zion comes back, this Pelicans team looks super fun. I love that they're making this move to try and go for this, and they didn't have to give up that much either to really go in on a guy like CJ McCollum, who's been a borderline all-star multiple times in his career. When everyone is healthy, they could run out a lineup of CJ McCollum, Brandon Ingram, Herb Jones, Zion Williamson, and Jonas Valanciunas. That's a super talented starting five with like Devontae Graham off the bench, Larry Nance Jr., Jackson Hayes has been playing some great basketball recently as well if they decide to keep him. So there's a lot of interesting things going on in New Orleans. They're slowly building a team that could work around Zion, and there's been rumors that Zion's been unhappy, he wants to start winning. Same with Brandon Ingram. And they're doing that. They're building a team that can compete. And I think now they're pretty guaranteed to make at least the play-in tournament this year. And they could start slowly marching up the standings as well because this is a really solid roster. It's all going to come back to if Zion Williamson can get healthy and does come back this season. But even if he doesn't, this still looks good going forward because they don't really need that pick. What they need is to continue to build this team. And if they can make a couple more moves in the offseason, bring in some more depth and some more solid role players, maybe even trade like Devontae Gray for a guy that's more defensive minded at that point guard position, things really start to get super interesting in New Orleans. Now, probably the biggest issue with this roster now is Herb Jones is going to be trying to guard pretty much every single position out there. So I do think they need to bring in some more defenders. But overall, I really like this trade for the New Orleans Pelicans. I like that they're going for this. They need to. It's They've done enough rebuilding. They have two all-star caliber talents in Zion and Brandon Ingram, a borderline all-star now in CJ McCollum, and a guy in Jonas Valanciunas, who for some, part of the season was playing all-star caliber ball, whether or not he is a guy of that caliber. You know, he is a guy who is able to put up big numbers when his team needs him to. So this is now a super fun roster that can space the floor around Zion Williamson. They can defend somewhat. And ultimately, they're just a lot deeper and better than they were at the start of the season. And I like this a lot for this Pelicans team. I'm super interested to see what they do going forward because I feel like there are still more moves to be made to for further solidify this roster. But what they've got going on right now is super interesting. And I'm happy that the Pelicans are finally trying to make kind of that shift. And I think this is a big move to do that. And now when we look at the Blazers package, that's not a lot for a guy like CJ McCollum. I don't think it's a bad return necessarily. But it's interesting when you consider the tweet that Woj put out after this trade package came out. I'll review it one more time. It's Josh Hart, Sadoransky, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, Didi Lazauda, a protected first round pick this year, and two second round picks for CJ, Larry Nance, and Tony Snell. So that package, when I read it off to you, does not sound like a package of a team that is trying to go forward and contend and build around a superstar point guard in Damian Lillard. It sounds like a team that's starting to rebuild. Uh, maybe you could deal off Josh Hart for another pick. You get a young piece in to kill Alexander Walker to put with Anthony Simons. Uh, you have a potential lottery pick this year, depending on if the Pelicans make the playoffs or not through the play-in tournament. A couple second round picks. Like It's not that bad of a package. 
the problem is they're not trying to rebuild. Woj put out a tweet after this that apparently the Portland Trailblazers are using this as an opportunity to reshape the roster around Damian Lillard and continue to try and compete. They're going to use their picks this year, the cap space that they have. Apparently, they're going to have like 60 million of cap space, which I guess could work fine to bring in role players, but I'm not quite sure what stars you're going to get to come to Portland unless like a Bradley Beal decides he wants to make a move like that. Maybe somehow James Harden is interested. I'm not sure. But overall, they're just bringing in cap space and they're bringing in pieces and picks to try and reshape this roster around Dame. I don't think that makes a ton of sense. I think you needed to trade Dame. You need to get on with your rebuild because at this point, I'm not sure that the pieces that you have now can build you a better roster than you've had in the past and it hasn't still worked out. So I don't quite know what they're doing, but in terms of the package that they got here, Josh Hart, solid playmaker, rebounder. He's just an all-around really solid wing, and I would love to see him on a contender. I'm not sure if Portland's going to look to flip him or hold on to him here, but personally, I would like to see Josh Hart play for contender. Um, if maybe the Blazers buy him out or something, I think he could be a huge piece on the buyout market. Same with Tomas Sadoransky. He could be a backup point guard for a lot of teams. Nikhil Alexander-Walker is someone I like a lot. I think he's a very fun young piece alongside Anthony Simons in that young backcourt. Bringing in a first-round pick in two seconds, it's kind of interesting that they're only able to bring in a one first round pick for all of the trades that they've made, especially when you consider that Robert Covington is a guy that they traded two first round picks for. They just traded a first round pick for Larry Nance Jr. And for a while, the rumor was that the Blazers were going to try and trade CJ McCollum for Ben Simmons. And instead, they get one first round pick out of all of those guys and a couple seconds and a couple and like a couple young pieces, sure. But it just feels like Portland didn't get a lot out of their biggest assets. I don't think this is necessarily a bad return, and I do think it would be better if it were signaling the start of a rebuild. But if you're trying to bring in assets to reshape a roster around a superstar like Damian Lillard, I feel like you should go out and try and get more than like one first round pick and a couple second round picks, Keon Johnson, Eric Bledsoe. I don't know. I don't really like it. And so does that mean Nikhil Alexander-Walker is going to be moved to try and build around Dame? I'm not quite sure. I really don't know what's going on in Portland right now. And it's super interesting to kind of look at because everyone, because I tweeted out after this that I, I was like, I see a rebuild coming in Portland. And everyone in the comments was like, yeah, no, duh, which sure is fair, I guess. But now Portland's not going for that. So while all of us, everyone in the NBA community was like, damn, this might be the end of not only CJ, but Dame in Portland, everyone was like, oh my gosh, this is a rebuild starting for Portland, but instead they're trying to compete. I don't really get it. I don't really like that. I think it's time to rebuild. I think they've slowly lost value on their assets by holding on to them for too long. Don't let that happen with Damian Lillard. Not saying Lillard is going to decline or anything like that, but you don't want it to happen where Damian Lillard like he continues to decline to the point where you're not getting as much value as you once would, or maybe even at some point he asks for a trade somehow. You just don't want to lose your leverage in this situation. I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to go into a rebuild and they're just not taking it. They're not going to go for it. I don't like that decision necessarily. So because of that, I think this trade gets worse for the Blazers because if this was a package of like a couple young pieces and a pick that you could kind of try and package with, or you could put alongside whatever you get for Damian Lillard in a trade, whether it's in the off season or by the deadline, probably the off season, then I think you've got a pretty decent start to a rebuild. But if this is the package of things that you're trying to bring back for McCollum to rebuild, I don't like it. I don't like it nearly as much. So for this trade, for the Pelicans, I give them probably an A to get back CJ McCollum, a great all-star, like fringe all-star caliber player, Larry Nance Jr., who's a really solid role player, a good defensive guy, and Tony Snell, who's a decent role player for a couple of, for like a young guy, a couple of picks, and just some pieces that really weren't in your long-term future. I think this is a big win for the New Orleans Pelicans. And for the Blazers, I guess maybe a C. Maybe even at like an incomplete because I don't know what's going to go on next. I thought it was a rebuild. Apparently, it's not a rebuild. I don't know. We will see. But for right now, this is a super interesting trade. I'm curious to know what y'all think about this trade as well. I've seen a lot of people say that the Blazers got fleeced in this one. I do. Th I really thought they would get more than one protected first round pick. Maybe like a couple of protected first round picks or even two first round picks in general unprotected. But maybe I was just overvaluing CJ McCollum and Larry Nance as a package. 
Ultimately, let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I appreciate y'all watching. Let me know what you think Portland's going to do and if you think the Pelicans can make the play-in tournament or even going forward, is this a signal of them starting to compete and maybe they're a powerhouse or maybe not necessarily a powerhouse, but maybe they make the Western Conference playoff picture a lot more interesting next season. I appreciate y'all watching. I will see you all later. Real one, say it back.